Are you kidding me? You didn't see it when you walked by? <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice. See, we can get those players when they come out here, Mark, to come and play in the basement. This is official. Coming from Holly Wizzle, aka the Painted Face. This is official right here. Yeah, he's a Laker fan, and we're gonna throw oh, him in well, the Jazz. Oh, well, definitely a Laker and a Clipper fan. You know, we're gonna throw him in the Utah Jazz. I like Clippers. I don't like Lakers. I like Lakers. Clippers. I think Clippers are. They, 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 they're amazing. It's a Is that team. right? Yeah, I think Griffin. He's a he's a stud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bob score, and we have yeah, we have little one on ones right here, so you can keep the score right here and have a little ref. Uh, you know, we, we do it right. Wow. Did you get your? Have you tasted the product yet? I took a nice uh, energy drink last night and couldn't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was not. Well, I took it at three in the morning. That was not the time. That wasn't yeah. smart. Let's get some that, lights in here. Come on, Buffett. Yeah, I think we gave you one of these. Yeah. This is a new one. Mark is the, he's the one that can tell you about all this stuff. No, it's, no, like it's just simplicity. You know? It's simplicity at its best. You know, too many of us, we live a fast paced life, and it's hard to get all the nutrients we need on a daily basis. We're not eating the fruits and vegetables we need. Right here, the antioxidant equivalent of about 13 fruits and 11 vegetables, you know, with, without the calories. And it is an exceptional product. Right there. Mm -hmm. Call it drink it, fill it, and then share it. Living dreams to their fullest. That's, 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 cool. yeah, that's my philosophy. No, 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 Oh, Turn the camera on and you just disappear. Camera guy, he's not in he's not in the picture. Come on. Sorry, here. Let me it's gonna be shaky. Is it recording? Right, Prophet, come on. Come on. He's smart. Good. He's a smart man. He he's like, what about me? He's like, hey, free monobi is good monobi. <laughs> Who said that? Okay, never pass up a free shot. <laughs> never pass up a free shot on monobi. Right. Right. Thank you, Dick. Thank you, Dick. This is incredible, man. This is unique. Yeah, this is this. Well, this all uh, started with a dream. I guess I could tell you the story. Yeah, please do. Um, so the story behind this. 21 years old, and uh, a friend had had uh, called me up and wanted me to look at a business concept. And um, when I found out it was networking, I immediately declined not once, not twice, but three times. And it was the fourth time that he asked me to just look at it, do. You know, just do him a favor, give him permission to say no, and just look at it. So I went to this meeting, and the first thing, I was the guy sitting in the very back of the row with my hands folded, you know, thinking that I was above all this. But there was something that happened in that meeting that really kind of intrigued. And uh, it was really identifying, more importantly, understanding the difference between linear income and residual income. Understanding that linear income, you're exchanging units of time for units of dollars, and that there's never enough time in the day to exchange for those dollars to create wealth. And that was the first time I'd ever had that painted very clearly in my mind. When he went to bed that night, he was going to make money while he slept. And, and then he asked, is anyone here in this room going to make money while you sleep tonight? <laughs> I, I was so intrigued with that concept that I thought, now that is something I yeah. probably ought to take a better look at. So I, uh, I, I kicked the tires, I did some research, and uh, when I was 21 and a half, um, he asked me the question. I remember that question when he was trying to make that close. Mark, what are you doing so great in your life right now that you can't take a chance on a business like this that could change your life forever? Interesting. You know, one of the things they, they talk about is a dream board, having dreams, you know, something that you can get excited about and that you're willing to do the work to make that dream a reality. And in Utah, I don't know in, in other parts of the, the states, but in Utah they have what is called a parade of homes where you get to go and visit some of the most amazing homes that are built anywhere in the world. And you get to actually, you know, go through and take pictures and take notes and so I did this for a couple of years, and I'll never forget the, uh, that moment in time when I was visiting a house here in Utah, 
and it was it was a it was an incredible multi million dollar home, lovely home. And I walked down the stairs and I approached a glass window, much like this one, and I looked down there and there was a basketball court. And I thought, no way, <laughs> no way. You know, I, I, keep in mind I was probably 22, 23 years old, and I thought this is too cool. I'm like. You know, and I sat there and I thought, why not? Why not dream that big? You know, someday, why can't I have a, a basketball court in my house someday? And uh, so I took pictures, I took notes, and, uh, and you know, dreams don't happen overnight, but this was a dream that was probably about 18 years in the making. You know, from, from where you are today at my home here in, in Utah, to, uh, to just looking down and actually seeing Right. Uh, that dream that has become a reality, but it all starts with the power of a dream. I, I remember when we started doing plans on this house, and uh, you know, and I pulled out all of the notes that I had taken, and my wife, you know, I told her, I said, it's gonna. The first thing we're putting in is the basketball court. Wow. <laughs> and she just and she just didn't get it. What do we need a basketball court for? We don't need a basketball court. And I said, no, we don't but we're gonna have one anyway. <laughs> and she says, why? I said, because this dream is gonna come true. That was the reason why the, this basketball court became, you know, it became the center focal point of this house is because it was that, that moment in time where this, this young kid in his early 20s had a dream and was determined to finish what he started and to have that dream come, come true. So you're, you're seeing that right now. So that's kind of my story when we started this process. I believe in a lot of traction. It just all comes true. Oh, no, I mean, I, you know how passionate right. I am. I talked about Ian Lee when I was in L.A. at the celebrity basketball games because they had all these other drinks. Right. And just to come back here and to meet Mark is just pretty amazing for me because I just wanted in more than I already had. And I said, I had to do something. And it's ironic that I was at a basketball game, a celebrity basketball game, looking at these energy drinks, dreaming of bringing A and B. And, and all of a sudden, I have one of the guys that organizes the game sitting here with you. So this is, it's, it's all, dreams do come true. I mean, this is an amazing view, by the way. I'm not even thinking about it. I'm just thinking about the view. I mean, this is in the house <laughs> while you're walking to the bar. <laughs> so you watch four games at one time. That's, that's the only bit. Four games at one time while drinking one of and playing basketball. There you go. There you go. This is what we call the man cave. This is, this is my station. My name is Jim Thomas. Uh, I was raised in Hollywood. I love basketball. Started by, basketball is my, my dream. Um, I did something with Snoop Dogg, and that's when the Holly Wizzle came in. Because, you know, he always has a like, mizzle, whistle, whistle. <laughs> so, yeah. so now, you know, I'm Holly Wizzle. I have a thing called Hollywood Hoops where I help a lot of high schools, do a lot of um, fundraising, help schools, projects, yeah. whatever goes, you know, whatever they need. Now I'm part of a company called Ball Up. Um, one of the biggest companies in the world has the best rebuttals in the world. This is amazing. Um, <clears throat> we did a Fox tour last year with Fox Sports, and then we have uh, another 30 games during the summer with Fox Sports again. And uh, doing the event coordinating, setting up games, going to high schools, booking games, and I'm playing at the same time. So I already, I already reached my dream a long time ago. I'm not, a, I'm not in the NBA, but I'm definitely made my dream. I've been on TV, won championships, street ball. It's funny because me and her used to go at it in LA. And then she brings me out to meet you, so that's, that's just funny. And he he did stuff for me, he edited it in my videos. So I just never thought, so last thing in my mind, I'll be here like this, but yeah. We were just down here with the camera guy. All right, we call him Prophet. I'm terrible at holding the camera, so if it's shaky, it's not Prophet's fault, it's mine. We're gonna get, you guys, go sit down. Let's. Your good old buddy Prophet, who made like 15 shots in a row. Put him on the team. Put him on the team. Everybody makes shots, you know. But if you put him in a game, in a game situation, it would not happen. Put a man in this place, a hand in this place, it would not happen. We'll, we'll see. We'll put you on um, one of these games. You'll be an opposing yeah. team. See, I don't have to play basketball for years. My shot never goes. I may, I may lose my handles a little bit, but a, a day on the court, I get those back, and then we have problems for the person that's in front of me. What, what, what do you, shall, shall we see? 
you know, you already know who I am. You know what I mean? You can just look me up, and then, you know, you, you make your decision. You know, who we'll, we'll let the yeah. game speak for itself, then. <laughs> I got references. Do you see a future um, with this company, with sports and basketball? As opportunities and marketing opportunities come on of his way, you just never know where it's going to go. So anything is possible. But uh, there's a lot of cool things that, uh, that are in the background right now that I'm hearing the, the rumblings, and so... It's just an exceptional company. Very good. It's going down. Monomies of the